टुडे वी हैव विद दस व्हाट इज प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट आइकॉनिक मॉडल्स एवर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय मर्सिडीज बेंज इट वाज एट द फोरफ्रंट ऑफ इनोवेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बैक इन द 80s एंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नन अदर देन द मर्सिडीज बेंज W124 E क्लास दिस इज ओन्ड बाय माय गुड फ्रेंड भुवन चौधरी और बी चाओ एज यू माइट नो हिम ऑन सोशल मीडिया एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ऑल अबाउट इज अमेजिंग कार टुडे The W124 is probably one of the most recognizable Mercedes Benz models that well Mercedes or Daimler have ever made. Before everything got smooth, curvy and very over the top with Mercedes Benz, they used to look timeless and classic and I think so the W124 is one of the best examples of it. It is a very normal looking car. It has the classic 3 box sedan shape that was very famous back in the day and it looks very classy, very elegant. There's not much going on but the design and the shapes and everything that it has looks very elegant uh, this thing has a couple of small quirks here and there if you go on to the right hand side of the car on to the right front fender you'll see that it has a vent and only the diesel models came with it and as you can see it's not over here on the left hand side little small quirk probably it's for some cooling or something of that sort the uh, rear view mirrors or the side view mirrors look super unique they're like this box shaped design but they also have this piece over here which is i guess for a smoother air flow or something and yeah you can make this car to look like a very very cool car i think so my friend in goa rusty cashew uh, he makes amg hammer body kits for this car and after those body kits if you use air suspension and you know slam it down to the ground it looks really really cool and even the wheels that you can get if you get period correct wheels like the hammer wheels or the monoblock wheels they look fantastic on this car one of the other reasons why the w124 gained so much popularity was because of the heart of the car this is the om605 engine it is a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline 5 diesel engine yep nowadays almost all modern diesels are powered by a turbocharger and it's very rare to find an engine like this a naturally aspirated diesel now the w124 was uh, offered to customers with a plethora of engine options multiple options in diesel multiple options in petrol in fact you could get a inline 4 diesel an inline 5 diesel and a six cylinder diesel as well why the w124 gained so much popularity because of the engines was because of the reliability these cars were built like tanks now this car is well almost 30 years old so of course some small problems here and there keep on creeping up but the thing what bhuvan told me was if you spend a good chunk of money on just making everything back to stock or brand new basically this thing can run basically forever the maintenance is not very expensive and the reliability also is a big big thumbs up so if you're looking for something which is old vintage but you can still drive on a day to day basis well this thing is pretty reliable it makes 93 ps of power stock and 158 newton meters of uh, torque which is pretty okay according to bhuvan the low range is pretty much non existent but once you get into the mid range of this car it is a fantastic cruiser it was specifically built to maintain high speeds on the autobahn and well this thing is a german car after all it was built in germany and i won't doubt the cruising capabilities of this w124 the interior of the w124 again very classy very elegant and i'm guessing when it was introduced back in the 80s it was way ahead of its time it has a lot of things inside which probably was unheard of in the 80s some quirky little things that this car has well the handbrake is first of all over here near your leg and you have this release button over here uh, kind of cool all of your windows which is over here in the middle it has electronic windows which i did not know was a thing in the 80s uh, this car is 20 years older than me probably so yeah i'm pretty sure i won't know half of the things uh, that were there in the 80s then you have your ac controls over here in the middle i'm pretty sure this was installed much much later and overall yeah it's a pretty normal interior you have nice fabric seats uh, it's all about the back seat space again in this car because this is the e class uh and yeah of course this is 
30 or 40 years old or something like that so some stuff in the interior is falling apart and Bhuvan is doing his utmost best to you know keep everything in check but yeah something or the other will keep on arising but that's totally fine uh, because I'm pretty sure this car will be very rewarding to drive or at least as a cruiser as you can see the steering wheel is massive nowadays steering wheels don't come this big and this thing is all about apparently the suspension and the comfort so how about we turn the key which is actually over here on the left hand side press the clutch in and go out for a spin So driving the Mercedes W124 E250 and this is definitely not my type of car but I can definitely see why people are so attracted towards it. First and foremost I mean just the way it looks so old school, vintage, it's very nostalgic and second is the reliability even after 30 years or 40 years or however long it's been this thing still drives pretty alright I mean some stuff is kind of falling apart but that's uh, you know Bhuvan's job to I guess keep it running but as far as I know Bhuvan has done some insane journeys with this car he went to Gujarat recently and the fact that a 30 year old car can do that sort of a distance without breaking a sweat well that's that's kind of impressive again this is not a speed demon it's not supposed to you know like blow your hair off and you're accelerating or something it's a nice comfortable very comfortable in fact uh, cruiser that is very nice to drive on the highway one thing is for sure that uh, modern cars have become absolutely massive I think so a modern C-Class is probably bigger than this E250 that just goes to show how you know big and wide the newer generation of cars is this is nice comp I wouldn't say compact probably that's not the word but yeah it's a perfect size for a mid-size luxury sedan and the other thing is the fuel economy of the E250 is pretty pretty impressive even to this day so Bhuvan had taken this car to Gujarat and in less than half a tank he went from Pune to Gujarat which is insanity probably 21 22 kmpl from a liter of diesel even today after all of these years that sort of a performance is very highly appreciated and overall it's just a nice car I mean there's nothing much to it I can see why people you know buy them even to this day it's a very collectible car it's a classic and for some people who were probably born in that era this was their poster car so it has that sort of a aura around it and the other thing why people probably buy it is because of the reliability factor I mean this thing is pretty much indestructible and it is fairly cheap to maintain I would say parts aren't the most expensive thing out there especially for a Mercedes uh, finding parts probably is a little bit more difficult but uh, this thing does not have any major electrical components everything in this car like uh, this button over here like some things Bhuvan, that Bhuvan was explaining to me those are vacuum operated now yes finding leaks in a vacuum system is pretty dang hard but I think so fixing a vacuum system probably is and I think so there are a couple of very special W124s as well that are available uh, you have the 500, the 300s are very nice and of course you had the hammer so yeah those cars are very very cool and uh, like I said earlier in this video I think so Rusty Cashew from Goa makes really cool kits for these cars so yeah if you're looking for an old school very good looking very comfortable cruiser kind of a build I don't think it gets much better than the W124 and the amount of respect and just the wow factor of an old Mercedes is unmatched and you see these cars not very frequently although they're not the most difficult car to find even in the used market yeah they're a gem of a car to own and I hope that Bhuvan does some really cool stuff with this car and can't wait to see more of his journeys so thank you so much for watching this video shout out to Bichao uh, he lent us his car for the day in fact we kind of exchanged cars for a day so yeah, pretty cool day out with Bhuvan. So subscribe to his channel, subscribe to our channel uh, and I'll catch you in the next one.